Alright, yeah. Finally, you're in St. Elizabeth, yeah. Just got a good, good shower rain, so you know, say. You know, all the earth and the plants are watered and the food can be produced and, you know, healthy food. Yeah, so the yam stalks and all of that. Alright, now. From previous time, we had planted like a bed of peppers from the farm stores. Then, so these are the seeds that we get from the farm stores, and these are planted now. No, planted about some month, a month apart now. But I'd say about six to eight packs of seeds were used, and this is all that germinated. So this is very, very poor germination to me. So these are the farm store seeds, right? They look very healthy though. For the ones that did germinate, you know, we kind of abandoned it a while back because we had chosen a different method now using the seedling trees. So, this is the first, first trial. But we're going to use these seeds to let them grow and watch them as they um, fruit and all of that. So, these might be end up be our next batch of seeds for our other planting should be sometime next year or later down in the year but this we're gonna use these seeds so we're just going to watch them you know and nurture them and we see the product all right now previously we had planted another set of pepper seedlings catch bonnet again so this is the bed here as i said just get a good shower rain so the soil bed is kind of looking a bit damped eh let the rain damage but tomorrow as the sun rise all of these will be standing firm and straight again so we don't mind that all right now these are the seedlings scotch bonnet pepper seedlings as you can see we have a nice little amount of seedlings growing here yeah so tomorrow we're just going kind of clean up the bed a bit but these are the second set of seedlings that I'd planted. So if we don't get enough seedlings from the seeding trees, we should get enough plants from here to fill out the plot of area that we plan to plant. But these are the second beds just coming up. Just just coming up. And while you can see the the method of using the seeding trees are a bit more effective well, not a bit more but very more effective than the old time method so just for a note for those who plan to do something again and don't know how don't know really how which method you'd prefer to use but I would suggest using, using the seeding trees. It might be a bit costly in the first instance, but you get more effective results. Well, we have a lot of seedlings here, so we're just going to clean up the bed tomorrow because the rain had just dampened everything now. So we're going to clean up the bed in the morning and, you know, we continue to watch them as they grow. But these are supposed to give us a good amount of trees to plant and this right here now this right here is the selected area where we go and plant the peppers so we're going to go all of that cleared area at the back go right across to that side there come back down and go right at the edge of the fencing right there we have some yams there again so all of this will be, you know, cleared up and all the branches cleared. So as you know, when you have the pepper beds or the pepper field, you have to have like direct sunlight onto the plants. So we're going to get all of that done. But, you know, we just had a nice Saturday afternoon rain session. So, you know, it's looking good. Nice, nice area. So this is the selected area where the peppers will be planted all of this will be cleared and um 
tractored, you know, just to get the the soil back on a level part. We had planted some potatoes previously, but we had abandoned this stretch of land a bit, so you can see the curves in the land. So when the tractor comes again, you can cut and clear all of that. And you know we're gonna have smooth flat land, free, more free soil. So the plants, roots and all of that can go. But you have a nice little set up here. You know? So continue as we make the, the process from plant to fruit, yeah? from farm to table. And we're here in St. Elizabeth, Carisbrook. Yeah, place called Providence. You know, that's a good area, man. So, you can hear the birds and all of that. Beautiful. So, we're going to get this thing done. So, until the next video again. Give thanks.